So for my final video, I wanted to talk about this whole Grenfell situation. Now, I know I've done a video about the Grenfell Tower fire. I did that a couple of months ago. But this is one thing that disgusted me yesterday. Five white guys did an, um, a Grenfell Tower effigy. And what they did is they burnt it on, on a bonfire. Now, they stuck little, they stuck little um, cutouts of people who were brown and black and and they had put this little um, England flag on the top of it and then they put it on the bonfire and burnt it. And you see them in the video on Twitter, you see them on the video and they're laughing about it. And this is the thing that, that absolutely disgusted me. You see the whole situation with Grenfell and you know a lot of the reasons behind why that happened is because of race and classism because a lot of the people who lived in Grenfell Tower were ethnic minorities. Um, there weren't just, there weren't just um, black people, there were Asian people there as well. I believe there was also Arabs who lived there as well. There was a lot of people who were ethnic minorities there was very very few white people who lived there and what I mentioned before in my other video is that um, because it had been a year like it had been a year about that time I did my previous video um, and Theresa May after the fire happened said that um, within three weeks everybody's going to be rehomed it's been it's been <laughs> way over a year okay about 70 weeks now since the fire occurred and still people are homeless people are still living in freaking hotels and stuff and that is no way to live and that's no way to live in a hotel is not a way to live the people who survived they don't even they don't even know what they can do about their situation really is because how can Theresa May sit there and say yeah we're gonna get you home we're gonna get you rehoused within three weeks and it's been way over a year now because the fire happened in june last year and it's now november and yet yeah, it's now november 2018 the fire happened june 2017 and these people are still homeless how can you break a big big promise like that how can you do that and then yesterday twitter exploded because it is uh this Grenfell Tower effigy was created and these men burnt it and you also see these you also see these white women in this video as well they were also holding the effigy to take it towards the bonfire so it could be burnt and they were laughing and it had the London flag on the top of it and I'm just like if you cannot and this is the same kind of people who will sit there and say racism no longer exists in the UK and this is Great Britain and all this kind of stuff and I'm like oh okay so if racism no longer exists in the UK why did you not put some fucking white faces on top of that effigy as well then not saying that would be right because it was absolutely disgusting and deplorable what they did however I'm trying to get the point to you guys that if racism no longer exists then you could have put some white people on there as well but ah you wouldn't do that would you because you know people will complain more if there were some white faces on there than just the brown and black ones because ethnic minorities don't mean anything to you so that's why you can that's why you can feel such a way to do something disgusting like that i mean children died in that fire adults died in that fire people who were disabled and couldn't get couldn't get downstairs but yeah that's that's how that's how you choose that's how you choose to live your life to to make a mockery of someone's death and people are still homeless and that's what you choose to do and this is why i'm fucking sick of this damn country because even though these guys have been arrested it does not mean they're going to be charged because arrested and charged are two totally different things they may see it as oh well it doesn't even matter yeah you arrested them because you saw the video but it probably was because of public outcry that's why um that's why you arrested them but it doesn't mean anything is going to happen to them and this is the thing people can be so damn disrespectful and racist and discriminatory and all these kind of things and do the most d disgraceful things like in this video but yet they don't care about that they don't because as long as they as long as they can get their kicks and their jollies out of out of stomping on people's graves and um, people's graves essentially they feel good about that 
and me as me as a black person i've told you this plenty of times i am not anti-white people i'm not not all white people are racist i've said this multiple times not all white people are racist however there are a lot of racist white people in this country and this is what you need to realize because they're always moaning talking about how oh um, immigration is impacting on their lives half of your immigrants anyway half of you got irish roots and welsh roots and scottish roots half of you are just you are just english by birth but if we look back into your roots you most likely irish or welsh or scottish or whatever so to be talking about immigration immigration is what built up this freaking country in the first place immigration is really what built up this country i mean if you look at if you look at the nhs they the NHS wouldn't even started in 1948 if it wasn't for colonialization of what was happening in the Caribbean and all the other countries around the world. They wouldn't have even had the fucking money for that. Let's keep it real. Someone mentioned that point on Twitter yesterday and I completely agree. I don't remember his name but he mentioned that point. So yeah, I'm giving him credit. Once I remember his name, I'll probably tag it down below but he said it. Like the NHS, where would the NHS have been if it wasn't for colonialization and transatlantic, transatlantic slavery? Because they were getting all the money from the plantations from selling the sugar cane and then they were taking it over, they were taking it over to the UK to build up to build up here. And this is what they're claiming is Great Britain. After you after you after you stripped everything from the Caribbean and then you take it you take it here and that is why a lot of these people are so freaking rich why a lot of these white people are rich because their ancestors their ancestors were the slave masters and and they they're never going to give up this money and then prince charles yesterday was um was saying about oh um um he apologizes for the uk's the uk's role in um in transatlantic slavery and i'm like you the ones who kicked off this fucking shit I mean, okay, let's keep it real. The, Ar the Arabs were the ones who started off transatlantic slavery, but the Europeans were the ones who, who kept it going for as long as it fucking did. Let's keep it real. You're the one kept it going for long as it did. So I don't even want to hear Prince Charles talking about how he um he feel he feels sorry. Feel sorry for what? A lot of your money from the royal family is because of um is because of slavery, and you're never gonna give that money up. Why don't you give that money up and go rehouse those people who died in Grenfell Tower? Hmm? How about that? You just swan around here, yeah, with all your fucking money. Um, the, the queen, her freaking jewels are like stolen from Africa and India. Anyway, they're never going to give that up neither. Okay? Like having all these nations strip clean of all their of all their good to bring it here to the UK and for what to build them up and then you left with nothing. And then I'm supposed to believe that this man that this man is sorry? Fuck you sorry. Nobody cares about your sorry. You're not truly sorry. You're swimming off to this country and this country being treated to like being treated like royalty. Like you literally you literally enslaved these people to the point where they they review you higher than their own people. And this is the thing that this is the thing that disgusts me about racism anyway. It's like people just say, Oh, it's just them someone saying words to you. No, racism as is deep as you can be you can be um a white person and someone will who's racist and someone will value higher than their own selves because the, the simple fact you're white and this is what i'm saying slavery is still going on a lot of a lot of us black people are so mentally insane so we're not even seeing it so that is why i'm doing these videos so you can kind of see my perspective and where i am coming from so with regards to the Grenfell situation, a lot of it is to do with racism, to do with classism, because the Grenfell Tower block, it looked over, it looked up, it was like across the road from where people had their houses, and these were like these rich, rich people with their houses and stuff, and this shit don't affect them, but as soon as they see the fire, that's when it affects them. And also, like I said in my previous video that I did back in June, I also mentioned the simple fact that how can you... How can you, in all good conscience, um, say that none of this, none of this stuff, none of this stuff matters to you? 
because you because you got your money so because these people are poor their lives don't matter to you only your life matters because you got money what if it was you in that freaking tower block you think people would give a shit about you like don't think because don't think because you are um you are um a person with money if you are an ethnic minority as well they don't give a shit about you either because as soon as as soon as your money is gone, you're gonna be right in that same freaking position as them, and nobody's gonna be caring about you. All those people freaking died, yeah. There was basically they like they burnt they burnt to death so bad there was literally just ash. There was literally ash and bones left. There was nothing to identify a lot of these people. This is why they said, oh, there was only 72 people who died. The numbers were a lot greater than that. It's because they weren't able to identify the individual bodies because there was no body to identify. You know? And then to have to see that and then the people who survived, they're still homeless after a freaking year. I mean, next month, next month in December, it would have made 18 months. 18 months. And they're still not, they're still not housed. And I know people are going to say, well, at least they're in hotels because there's some people, there's some people on the streets and that street. No, listen, it does not matter. A hotel, a hotel is supposed to be temporary. It's not a permanent thing. It's not permanent so don't don't come with a foolish not talking about how talking about how um about how these people should feel grateful feel grateful for what they lost literally everything okay some people lost their families some people lost their families their children their friends aunts uncles grandparents all this kind of stuff you're gonna sit there and say well i should feel grateful because they're in a hotel why should i feel grateful to be in a hotel like i just said a hotel is a temporary thing it's not supposed to be permanent a hotel where you go to relax how can they relax when they don't even know when they're going to get their own house again or their own flat again how can they relax and truly and truly like they they are still they are still dealing with that has anyone like has anyone like um said oh you know what we're going to get you in contact with a counselor has anyone said oh we're going to get you in contact with the mental health services has anyone like oh these um salvation armies have they been have they been have they said are oh, we going to get you in contact with them no they've been literally left to deal with this shit by themselves Theresa may said within three weeks after the fire we're going to get them we're going to get them rehoused it's been almost 18 months and they're still not rehoused it's a system of failures that keeps continuously happening and if by june next year two years after this fire and they're still not rehoused that is a reflection on how bad she is as a prime minister. <sighs> but as I was saying, for those five white men who um who did that effigy, you are fucking disgusting. Like seriously, you are so beyond disgusting. It's not even a joke. I don't understand how you could fix yourself to do something so foul like that. Especially when people are still alive and suffering today and you're basically stomping on those who died graves. And to put those little card cutouts of brown people on them and then just burn it. That's horrifying. Like how do you how do you get that kind of mentality to do such a thing? I would never understand people like that. I would never do do something so horrible like that. It's like it's like I remember I was watching um, Jeremy McKyle or something like that last year and this woman was talking about this um, bloody fly but this woman was talking about how um, her she lost her she lost her baby daughter I believe her daughter was like a month or so and she buried her and then the, the grave was vandalised it's similar it's similar to that even though these people probably don't even have graves but you're still you're, you're still vandalised and you're still stomping on <sighs> i just don't even have the words anymore so i'm gonna cut this video off here but um please let me know your thoughts about this whole situation um don't forget to like subscribe and share if you well i can't really say enjoy the video but yeah please share the video and have a blessed day okay bye